Yes guys, welcome, Championship Manager 0102, the Fantasy Customised Database Predictions Game. As you can see in the title there, this is the conclusion. You can see right in front of you what date we're at. We're at the 1st of the 1st, 2039. Now, the reason I've decided to um, keep this as it is, uh, finish it here, is because we've all just turned 34 years of age. So 34 years of age, um, you may recall in the previous part um, we had six players retire uh, at the end of season 16, which was Paul Adams, Matt Meikle, Daniel Young, William Anderson, Andy Lowe and Philip Stewart. So 18 months later, 1st of January 2039, we are all 34 years of age and we have lost another 23 players. We're going to go through the remaining 41 players in a moment. But let me firstly tell you the bad news of those players gone. The reason I'm telling you it's the bad news is because when I go through the remaining 41, I think we need to uh, be selective and choose our um, player of the, the tournament. And that can really only be a player that is still going. So firstly, Shane Wright. He departs. The left back. Wayne Chester has gone. Luke Langley has gone. Philippe has gone, Jay Geneva has gone, Chris Henson has gone, Tim Edwards goes, Brian Lacey has gone, Baz Chambers goes, Jeff Cowell goes, Daz Jones goes, Rob Lloyd goes, John Pickett goes, John McGrath goes, Ashton goes, Matt King, Eben, Derek, Tre Trevor Choi, Dan, Steve Hall, Lee Sylvester and George. They have all gone 23. We have 41 players remaining. Now let's go in order of value from the lowest. Dave Trezner is still going strong. You can see he's just turned 34 years of age. Still has one of the best creativities. Well, he does have the best creativity. Now Daz Jones has gone. And... Um, He's still getting games. So Dave finishes. Although he's on a free. He's obviously just been released. After what I can then assume is 18 month contract. Eddie Stevkov has a bid in. To go to North Macedonia. He was uh, what I imagine was released. Or come to the end of his contract. So um, actually look at that. Let me just check something. So he'd actually had a good season so far. Illy. He's played. Uh, oh no no sorry that was last season. No he's been on loan. At uh, this Dutch side. And look how well he's done. At the age of 33, 34. Now this is funny. You're going to like this. I know you're going to like this. The third person on a free is myself. Now that ain't the funny thing. That's the fucking disgusting thing. Out for 10 months with a broken leg. Why didn't I just retire? Why didn't I just give in? Right? So I'm uh, on a free after being released by Brighton this season. Um... Let me just close them down quickly, very, very, very quickly. Right. Um, Morton. Morton worth £3,000. Um, he's out of contract this year. Louis Binks. Now, you've got to give credit to Louis Binks because, remember, he is older. And he's playing for a team that I've never heard of. But it turns out they're Scottish um, amateur side. Civil service. Uh, strollers. I've never heard of them. But uh, Louis Binks... Is still going, but they are unplayable league. That's I mean, look at that bullshit rate in there for Luis. Roxy Brown, Hyde, six games there. Mick, Mick still going at Port Vale after a Bosman move there. Stu Murta, St. Ives, St. Ives. That that's crazy. So uh, I didn't even spot that before. Um, so Stu Murta still going. Ross Horn still looks pretty decent there. Could do a job. Dagenham and Redbridge, I think he's just moved, hasn't he? No, he's been there all season, he's not played. Um, Chris Thomas, Dartford. Daniel Osborne, Swindon Town. We are getting now to the higher valued end of the spectrum, although they are still quite low. Kevin Gilmartin, is that Swindon or is that Swindon? No, that is Swindon Town, not that fucking Swindon Supermarines or whatever the fuck they were. Adam Bush at Salisbury. Matty Price at Dagenham and Redbridge. Sam Wheatley, he was on a free, weren't he? Uh, so Wingate and Finchley. Um, are they in a playable league? No, they're not. 
Uh, Michael Page, Preston North End, not played all season. Look at that, his dribbling's deteriorated. Sh uh, Liam McShane, Maidenhead, still going. Paul Roberts, Dartford. John Chambers, Regina. So he's had a loan spell. And I think he has to be a contender for um, the most consistent player, John Chambers, because he's been in playable leagues the whole way through. Um, on to Carl Rhodes. Carl Rhodes still certainly can do a job. Uh, whilst he's transfer listed, he's worth 80000 which at this point of the careers is pretty decent. Mark Bonney, same with him. It's 708 Mark Bonney. He's done very well at Carlisle. Uh, they are playable, I'll take it. Yes, they are. Well done, Mark Bonney. Paul Ogden, Portsmouth. <coughs> okay, Adam Rowland, Nantes, still in France. Jamie Baxter got a club. He's at Colchester, so he does finish the game. Mark Rutgers, PSV. That's a big move for him to be finishing his uh, fantasy career. Well done, Mark Rutgers there. Pepe Page, St Mirren, finishes. Justin, Derby County. Ian Williams. Ian Williams still looks an absolute beast. Um, and he's having a good season at Sunderland. Credit where it's due, Ian Williams. Peter Rudd still looks... It does certainly do a job. I mean, he's having a great season at Brighton. This is actually his, his finest season in his whole career, Peter Rudd. Well done. Mark Whitaker. You know, I mean, he's certainly still got the attributes, uh, Mark Whitaker. Uh, Everton, he's not really been given a chance... Well, he certainly had a few games last season, but nothing so far this season for Mark. Mark Brown, Vancouver. Panos, finally got his move. He's been in Romania his whole career, but he will get his move to OFI of Greece. So, there you go. Fairy tale ending for Panos. Uh, Ashley, Ashley at Birmingham City. Uh, big money move for him, it would be fair to say, um, at his age. On to the final page now then. You can see the highest value players. We're coming to the real higher end here. Matt Tierney, West Ham United. Still, West Ham does very, very well. Well done, Matt. Good good career for you, certainly. Uh, John Davies, Derby County. Look at that, that average rating in three games. Michael Clarkson. He, still, he made it, didn't he? He's playing in France. Um, and he didn't have any games. Okay, on to the next one. Tobias on loan at Regina. Uh, Regina, of course, with John Chambers. Ironically enough, from Napoli. Shane Cousin, Accrington Stanley. Uh, Shane Cousins finds himself out and still looks the fucking bollocks. He's worth a million pounds. Peter Trina. <coughs> Late in Orient, uh, Peter Trina has done extremely, extremely well. Um... He's had quite a career, and I think we, we know pretty much why. Padrag, Watford, uh, there you see, 7.25. What a, what a value. Uh, and that's probably because he's a goalkeeper. And the highest valued finishing goalkeeper, Thomas Tunnicliffe. Everton, 31 starts this, uh, three, sorry, 33 starts this season, 41 against. And, he, you know, he's, been, he's had a hat full of games. You know, if we looked at uh, overall games, 608 games, that must be the most. So I think it's fair to say, although he's conceded 769, which is pretty disgraceful, that must be the most. Because I'm trying to think of playable leagues here. So 608, let's just go to Peter Trinner. Yeah, 608, 441. If anyone was going to come close, it would have been Peter Trinner. Uh, it won't be Padre, definitely won't be Padre. And I think it's really between those guys. So, um, let's see who ends up then, at the age of 34, who's on the best wage? Thomas Sunnycliffe again, 48,000 uh, a week, Padraig 28, so the goalkeepers have really excelled towards the back end, as you can see, Peter Trina probably deserves it. Oh, I've not put it in basic wage, what am I doing? I've got that right, it wasn't 48 at all, it's Matt Tierney, I don't know what I, don't know what I clicked on there. Matt Tierney, sorry, 70 grand a week, that is disgusting. Mark Whitaker, 55 grand a week at Everton. Thomas Tunnicliffe, 48 Everton. Tobias, although that's a Napoli contract. Uh, Padre, 28 and a half. Justin, 22. And um, as we know, Dave, Treasurer, myself, and Ilya are all on fuck all. So, you beg the question who is the player of the tournament? Now, I, I thought about this long and hard, right? And we could say uh, Louis Binks is still going, he's had the disadvantage of being three years older. 
Um, <coughs> I have to I have to be honest here, right? The most underperforming player. That's our first one. Uh, the most underperforming player, given his uh, attributes, in my opinion, has to be Shane Cousins. Uh, you know, underperforming Shane, what I'm saying is, you look the bollocks, and you've looked the bollocks, but you've just not done it. You've got capped at England under 21, um, and it's never really materialised for you. Um, and you only did real well in the non-playable league. So, you've won an award, Shane. It's not a good award to win, you fucking liability. Okay. The biggest playboy in the whole of our game has to be this guy here. I mean, apparently there was a lockdown in Rotherham when he was playing there. A lockdown, a lockdown for several, several seasons. You know, in this year here, uh, people were able to go out their house for a little period of time because he was too busy playing football. I mean, he actually had a good season, didn't he? 17 assists on this particular season. Um, but no, in all serious, I have to be honest, right, and, and I did think about this long and hard, who I felt the player of the tournament was. Just a quick note there, Michael Page is on a non-promotion release call, being activated. But it has to be this man here. Ian Williams is my player of the tournament, uh, player of the game, shall I say. And the reason I've chose Ian, right, Mark Whitaker won't like this. Um, he's been very, very prolific. And I think if you look at those average ratings, and they've all been in playable leagues, and they've all been in England as well. So he's not been a Judas and fucked off to another country. Um, he's had some big money moves. Well done, Ian Williams. You are the player of the tournament. I'm calling it tournament, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And the last thing I'm going to give, and I think this has to be, I mean, this, this was a close one, really. Uh, the overseas player. Now, this had to really be Peter Trinner. <clears throat> I mean, Peter Trinner was close on that player of the tournament, but um, he he didn't quite do it at Brighton, did he? He didn't quite do it at Brighton, but he did do it at Porto, and he did win the Oceana um, Award. Let's have a quick... So he's my overseas player. Let's take a quick look, then, at the um, international awards. Let's just see if he won any more. Well, he ain't won it for the last few years, is he? So he's gone off the pace a little bit, but he still wins that award with ease. Let's have a look at the African. I wanted to see if Eben had won anything. I know he's retired now, but no, he didn't. Um, Mo Salah is still for, oh, he's still going. He's still a coach then at the Pyramids. Um, we'll have a quick gander. It looks like nobody won anything. Um, yeah. Is Harlan still going? Harlan, no, he's just retired. He's a coach at West Brom. Um, Mbappe, no, he's not going. So that is it really, guys. You know, it, it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, I'm still absolutely disgusted with this broken fucking leg. However, I got that. Let's have a look at how we got it. Oh, it doesn't even tell me. Oh, it should tell me, actually, shouldn't it? Uh, during training. That's even worse. So look at that. Talk about a sick note. Look at that injury list. That is fucking awful. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we could do. Let's have a quick look at stats. Um... Stats and so this is only so far this season, bear in mind. Um, Thomas Tunnicliffe again, 33 games. Uh, Ian Williams, Shane Cousins. Accrington, they are playable. Yeah, so Shane Cousins. <coughs> Mark Bonney's had a good hat full of games. This is only so far this season, remember. The most most average player this season, Louis Spinks. I can't count that, Louis, so you're not having that. Sam Wheatley, you're not having that either. These are all bullshit ratings. Mark Bonney, uh, Mark Bonney, Mark Brown, you're not having that. Adam Bush, Adam Bush, right, the most unluckiest player, I think it would be fair to say for Adam Bush, um, and I go back to Adam Bush with regards the Man United thing, when uh, <coughs> when he had um, non-competitive games and he was banging them in like there was no tomorrow, uh, he also got some big moves of course, uh, 21 million, 19 and a half million, he was probably one of the biggest uh, overall transfer moves, it would be fair to say. Matt Tierney's actually not had um, a bad season either so far this campaign. Matt Tierney, I didn't realise just quite well, quite how well he did. Uh, let's have a look at um, uh, caps then. So our most capped inter international was Peter Trina. He was always going to do it. Um, Jamie Baxter, 24 caps for Scotland. Well done, you. You finished third. Illy Stevkov. 34 for Macedonia. Padrag, 22 for Ireland. Sam Wheatley, 20 
for Malaysia. Tobias, 16 for Sweden. Um, Mark Clarkson, one for Cameroon. No one did it into the England squad, so a little bit of a shame in that sense, but hey ho. You know, that is what it is. So that is where we're at, guys. That is our game over. And I hope you enjoyed it. I've genuinely enjoyed doing it. And I might even do another one. Maybe make a few alterations. Depends on you guys, really. If you're happy for me to keep waffling on about this. Um, but I genuinely, genuinely do enjoy it. So until next time, guys, take it easy from me.